Sometimes it's nice to be able to quickly create a mask that allows you to create a focus on certain areas of the image while protecting the rest of it. In this particular case, I have my image of Malat 15, and what I'm interested in doing is doing some uh, sharpening, if you will, or some contrast enhancement on some key features. I'd like to have this area in here undergo a little enhancement. I'd like to do the features in here, and I'd like to do the features in there. Now, how might I do that? Well, one way to do that is to use a script called Game. Game is a script that allows you to create gradient masks and other forms of masks very quickly. It's not something that's built into the PixInsight. It's something you, had, you can add on to it. It's free and I'll have information in the description of this video. But basically I can come in here and put it in ellipse mode and create a new ellipse. Once I have this ellipse, I can center it in the area I want to work with. Now pulling these tabs, I can shape this ellipse so that I get coverage for the area I'm interested in. So let's say we're going to do something about like that. Now that covers one area that I'd like to do something with. Now let's add another ellipse. And we'll drag this one down here. And we're going to expand this so it's just big enough that it starts to cover the area of interest. We'll do one more. This one will center over here. And these ellipses can go off the image. That's not a problem. And maybe I'll do one more small one right in here for this particular feature. Once I have these defined, I can now hit OK. And it creates a mask that looks like this. This mask can then be applied to the image. And you can see that we now have areas of coverage on just those areas where I want to do some sharpening. And I have a nice gradient to feather this back into the image. Now at this point, in order to do the sharpening, I'm going to use a local histogram equalization. Um, I'm going to use it at the default value. Um, I, the default value is typically one. I usually use it much less than that, no more than 20. And I can do a live preview to see what it looks like. And I can come over to the live, or live preview and click this button and see before and after. And you can see that I'm sharpening the areas I want without really touching the other areas. I can make this more exaggerated. And again, you can see that I'm, I'm sharpening and enhancing those areas and not the other areas. I think what I'm going to do here is bring this down to about maybe 15 to make it a little bit more subtle. When I'm happy with that, I can cancel the live preview, apply this to the image, knowing that the mask is protecting the majority of the image where I don't want that to happen. And here we have our final result where you can see that I've added just a little bit of sharpening to those areas, but I haven't touched the background. Um, and so all of that is done with these elliptical gradient masks, which are so easy to create with a game utility. Having the ability to generate quick elliptical gradient masks like this so that you can create an area of focus in your image is really handy. And I think you'll find using the game script is well worthwhile.